Hey Virgos, how's it going? Welcome to your June 2020 general reading. This reading will be for Virgo, Sun, Moon, and Rising. If you don't know your Moon and Rising, there's a link in my description you can click on or you can Google it. I would highly recommend you go and watch the videos for your Moon Rising and even Venus signs to see if you can get more information for the month of June. And also, in case these messages here don't resonate with you, it may resonate better in the June video. I'm sorry, in your um, Moon, Rising, or Venus sign videos, okay? So, um, also, if you're new to my channel, comment your birthday down in the comments section. Represent for Virgo gang. And let's get right into it. Oh, last announcement is I did create a Patreon page, and I'm going to put the link in the description. And um, I haven't uploaded anything yet, but I'm planning on doing, like, um, early access to the monthly videos, um, exclusive love and finance readings, and depending on the tier level that you purchase on the Patreon, I will be doing like live Q&A, so that'll be your opportunity to, you know, ask me questions and we can do like a mini reading live for you, okay? And I'll definitely think of some more cool stuff to add, but you know, I just made it yesterday. If you guys have any ideas or things you would like to see from me, definitely comment in the comment section and I'd be happy to add those in, all right? So let's get right into it, Virgos. We are in June. This is gonna be for Virgo sun, moon, rising signs. For the month of June, what is the energy surrounding Virgos in the month of June? What is the energy surrounding Virgo in the month of June? The father, okay, interesting. Leo energy, very strong energy here, dominant energy. Me more about the energy surrounding Virgos. Air energy, okay. The element of air is here. Air sign could be significant to you. A Leo could be significant to you, Virgos. Air sign is Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. One more card. And then we are going to also clarify, okay? And then we have empty nest, okay. For some of you, um, my condolences, I'm not predicting or saying this will happen, but some of you have lost um, a father or father figure to you. Um, this was something that was very sudden, and I give my condolences for that if you are that person who has experienced some sort of loss. It could be a father, grandfather, um, someone who was definitely older and was like a father figure to you. could even be an uncle. This happened very sudden. For others of you, um, many of you may have moved out as well. I feel like you guys have, are like starting your own path. You could have moved out from family, home, um, or you're relocating in some kind of way, moving out of your current home or moving out of like a parent's home and being out on your own as well as what I'm getting here. Uh, more metaphorically, this could be speaking about leaving your comfort zone and and kind of going out into the world or moving locations in a very swift and abrupt way also for some of you um you could have separated from someone could be the father of your child doesn't have to be but um this person could also be an air sign but i feel like something something has quickly left or you're feeling this feeling of emptiness um you guys could be also working on like autopilot here where you just you just feel empty inside you you're waiting for something something you want like some kind of swift change to happen to like liven up the energy around you or to to take you off of autopilot in some sort of way we're going to clarify this for sure what's What's the outcome for Virgos in the month of June? What is the outcome for Virgos in the month of June? The judge. A lot of Libra energy here with air and the judge. Okay, we will take that. Karma. And last but not least, you're being watched, Virgo. Either you're being watched or you're watching others and you are making judgment on them and the way they act. And I feel as if you are ready to deliver, you know, what they deserve in some kind of way. So they're definitely observing something or someone 
observing a situation very heavily and going to to make a decision based off what you've been seeing one last card okay and the mother you see you have the father and the mother here with the empty nest the air the judge and karma let's go ahead and clarify these cards because we have a lot going on here for your so first why i'm sorry about all the noise outside uh why is the father here for virgos sun moon rising why is the father card here in the energy surrounding virgo why is the father card here why is the father here why is the father here okay you have six of swords again i was talking about this energy of moving on, moving out, moving forward, moving away. Someone is leaving a situation. You could be leaving a situation because somebody is very controlling around you. Uh, someone may not be your father, but they, they act like they're your father or they try to dominate you in some kind of way um, or tell you what to do or put restrictions on you and you are looking towards moving away from that situation. Um, moving on to calmer waters, there's probably been some sort of arguments or fighting that's been happening a lot, but you are interested in getting away from some sort of controlling regime or um, someone who's trying to dominate you in some kind of way. And I don't mean like abusively, but you know, just trying to control you and you are not liking it. You're trying to get away from this energy here. Now air is here. Why is the element of air here? Why is the element of air here? It seems like you're going to be doing this very swiftly, very abruptly. You've been thinking about it for a while, but you're going to, yeah, see with the Queen of Swords, you see there is an air element here. You could be dealing with an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or someone like that. Again, this person is very stern. They're very somewhat controlling or dictative. Um, they feel as if they, they're almost like your mother, like they mother you in a way. They, they're trying to, you know... They think they know more than you do, is what I'm getting. They know better. They know more. They're a know-it-all kind of energy. And you want to move away from that. But there is this air element person here. And I feel like that's why you're moving on, because you're tr you don't want to be controlled anymore in a situation. You want to take back your power in some kind of way here. Why is the empty nest here? And now you have the nine of pentacles. So, sorry, I'm going to have to zoom out a little bit so you guys can see everything. Let's see if that helps more. Um, this is you, again, gaining your independence, your freedom. Like I'm saying, a lot of Virgos are really trying to gain their independence and their freedom. They do not want to be controlled, uh, or you guys do not want to be controlled. You're tired of someone bossing you around in some kind of way. Now, if you're a crosswatcher, definitely feel free to flip the energies. The energies can be flipped. If you feel like the Virgo is the one being controlling of you, then, you know, sw switch it to whatever makes sense to you more. But I'm s sensing here that Virgos are, are looking for their independence. They want to leave a situation and they want to be on their own. Um, they want to be able to focus on their own hobbies and things that make Virgo happy. And they feel like they've been under such tight control. They haven't been able to really be themselves. Why is the judge here? So Virgo's going to be making a decision here. Virgo or the person dealing with Virgo but someone's making a decision here that they feel is right and what's best for them and their independence the Virgos why is the judge here three of cups okay making a decision definitely about a group of friends or a relationship a group of people about family many of you this has to do with family as well you know someone here has someone who's very controlling of them last card here oh two threes okay two threes here for virgo so three of wands three of cups 
So a lot of you Virgos are, are in a position where you're trying to decide, do you want to try and reconcile the situation here, come together, find some sort of common ground and understanding? This way you can stay in the situation that you're in, but also have your independence. I feel like, you know, Virgos are fiercely independent. They, they don't want to be changed, controlled, limited. You guys want to be able to, if you're in a relationship, you want to be able to have your relationship, but also be your own person on the side as well, right? You don't want to just conform or change everything about yourself. But this person seems very stern. This person seems very strict. And this person gives off that aura of, you know, that's nice, but I know better. This is the better way to do it kind of energy that I'm getting here. Not a nice energy. Um, so again, you're trying to decide if you want to reconcile the situation or if you want to move on. Okay, two cards here about moving on. Move on, see what else is out there, explore your options, basically. So many of you are trying to explore your options. Many of you are trying to get away from a situation. It doesn't have to be love or parents, could be a job. You're trying to get away from a situation and maybe you want to be an entrepreneur or you want to start your own business based off your passions. So you have some decisions to make here, Virgo. You will be making a decision in the month of June. So karma's here, very interesting. As I say, you have decisions to make. The two of pentacles are there. You have decisions to make, Virgo. Why is karma here? Oh my gosh, look what just flipped out. Again, another two. Karma, making a decision here that's gonna be right. You guys wanna do the right thing. I know you do, Virgos. Again, making a decision. A lot of cards at the bottom of the deck are just coming up. You want to make the decision that it's fair. Virgos are very fair people. I will give you the guys that. You're very fair. You're very analytical. You've, you know, thought this over. I, I never known a Virgo to make a decision that they haven't thought over 40 different ways and, you know, maybe even asked other people for their opinion. You guys just don't make snap decisions. Now, you act snappily. Like, once your mind is made up, you're going to take action like, like that. That, yes, I will say. But um, you didn't come to that point overnight, is what I meant. And here, you really want to make a decision that's going to be best for everyone involved. Because I feel like whoever this person is, you do care about them in some sort of way. You do care. You've made a lot of sacrifices thus far to try and fit in their mold, but it's, it's not working. That's not what works for you. You also have the mother here. Why is the mother here? Why is the energy of the mother here for Virgos in the month of June? The energy of the mother, which is flipped here, the High Priestess. The Page of Wands, fire energy. You have a lot of wands, a little bit of cups, a lot of air. You could be dealing with the fire sign. Again, Leo is coming up very strongly. Um, Whoever this person is too that is, is dominating, they see their domineerance almost as love. That's how they express their love, by trying to mother you in a way, but you don't like it, Virgo, or vice versa. Virgo's doing this to someone else, but you're not liking the way they express their love. I think you'd rather actually them be a little softer, but they're coming across as more controlling, more dominating, rather than caring and loving this person may just make one final ditch effort to you like once you've made up your mind this person is going to come back and like soften their tone a little bit and communicate with you like hey look i'm sorry that you felt controlled i'm sorry that you felt like i was you know bossing you around i was only doing those things because i i cared about you kind of thing all right and this could be a family member a boss a friend a group of friends but someone has you know put you in a position where you need to make a decision and you want your independence back is what I'm getting here for Virgos all right in the month of June so best of luck to you guys I know it's not going to be easy but I know you guys will make the best decision for yourself and what's fair and that's you know the best you can ask for so Virgos if you guys are interested in doing a private reading with me there is a link to my website down below it's just reads tarot.com you can click on that and purchase a reading and I'd be happy to do one for you and yeah if you're interested in becoming a patreon check out that page 
And um, if you resonated with any of the messages here, definitely like and subscribe the videos, all right? So Virgos, I love you. I'm not going to talk your ear off to death. Have a good one, and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye.